what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's been a while since i uploaded i'm sorry but most of my videos are going to be hauls and um i already shop a lot but i can't produce videos every week because that would mean that i go shopping every week and i'm a broke college student so um i did buy i think a hundred dollars worth of stuff or around there i'll probably put it in the video title so you guys will know anyways but i bought some from pink american eagle and abercrombie pink was having their like apparel sale so i stopped in i also had a 20 dollars rewards card so i can use and then for american eagle i don't know i just had like a four hour break from work so i just decided to shop around the store i had i ordered like three things i think from abercrombie so i it, like it came in this week so i was like oh perfect i can include it in the haul as well uh, today's not gonna be a super big haul in fact it's going to be a little different and i don't know if you guys can tell but i think the camera work and stuff is a little better because i actually got a tripod the other day okay enough talking let's just get to it so i'm gonna start off with american eagle and hollister because i only got one item from both stores i asked for a large bag though because i have this weird obsession with collecting paper bags like i don't know like i just love paper bags like i, I collect them it's kind of weird so let's just start out with american eagle so i got this mock neck white short sleeve tee so I went to the clearance section and I found this. It was the only one there, but it was in an extra small, which is my size in American Eagle. So that was perfect. It said $24.95 and the clearance section said like everything was like $7.99. But it wasn't $7.99, $7 it was like $9. And honestly, it's not bad because originally it's $24.95. But yeah, um, I don't know how I'm gonna style this. So we'll see. Okay, so here is the American Eagle mock neck shirt i didn't really know how to style this tee like what like should i have like layered it or something like i think this looks good probably wear jeans underneath and just tuck it in like this maybe that would look nice i like it it's really soft too Okay, our next item is from hollister it says 11.99 but then it was actually 7.99 which is great i got to save two dollars but it's basically just this black notch cami like there's a notch in the middle here i actually have two of these um so i have two white ones it looks exactly the same but just white okay so this is how the cami looks like these are actually the abercrombie shorts that i'll be showing you later but yeah, um, I'm actually killing three birds with one stone instead of two birds because these are Abercrombie shorts and then this is the Hollister top and I'm wearing the Victoria's Secret bra that I also bought and it will be featured later in the video. So yeah, this is the notch cami in an extra small. It looks pretty good, so. Yay, so we'll start with the pink stuff now. I believe I only bought like three things. So, um, I don't know. Okay, fuck it. But I got a bra because, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna show it because why not, right? I don't know if I'm gonna show you guys in the try-on because that's kind of weird, but it's just a plain nude color. I think it's called like a lightly lined demi bra. It does have wires, but to be honest, I kind of prefer wire over non-wire or like wireless. I don't know, like that's just weird. I know like most of you guys probably just wear or like probably like wireless bras more but i don't know like just having the wires like just gives me an extra like support and i kind of like that feeling but yeah it was actually on sale they were having their like i don't know their sale it was 19.95 so 20 dollars not bad for a pink or victoria's secret bras here it says usd 32.95 and then like i mentioned earlier pink was having their apparel sale so it was like if you buy more than two like clothing items then you get 40 percent off from both so i got these joggers i love joggers so it's just these plain black it looks kind of like gray in the light because my window is open but just these black it's these classic pants but i think it's just fleece joggers 
Got it in an extra small original price is $46.95, but I got it for 40% off. Uh, so two of them was 40% off. I think together they were like $50. I don't, I can't do math. And I got basically the same thing, but in gray. And, they, and this one has the pink logo. I don't know if like the word pink is considered their logo. Yeah, this one doesn't have that. It's just plain black with the pink over here though. And um, recently in my previous haul, I showed you guys I got like pink long sleeve tees and I have one in like a light head. I don't know if it's this gray, it's, it's heather gray, like kind of like this. And then I had a black one too. So I think it will go well together. We'll see. So these are the pink joggers, fleece joggers. And then um, the top, you can't really see it, but it's from my last haul. It's also from pink, just a long sleeve. I probably wouldn't go out to public like this. This is probably just like a sleep kind of thing. But it's really plain and black. Okay, so I basically did the same thing with the black one, but this time in gray. So I thought my the top that I got from pink was the same shade of gray, but it's lighter. But that's okay. It gives a little pop to it. And again, I probably wouldn't wear this out to public because I really look homeless. But this is just like nice lounge wear kind of thing or sleep. Abercrombie and Fitch. It was on sale, so um, everything I got was basically clearance. Plus I had this like, they were having a sale at the same time too. And I had like a coupon or something. I don't remember, but I bought two shorts, both for $9.41. So that's really good. That's actually like cheaper than Hollister. And then I got jeans for $32.66, which is not too bad. It's still kind of a little expensive in my opinion because I can get jeans from Hollister for $25 usually. But I mean for Abercrombie jeans, 32 is not bad because original it says $78. So I should have invested like those $30 into American Eagle jeans because I feel like, I'm, I don't know, I have two pairs of, of American Eagle jeans and I love them. They're like, my favorite jeans. I never tried Abercrombie jeans before, so. But um, this this is mid-rise jeans. They have rips in them too, and they're in a medium wash because I don't have any medium washes, so kind of want to like change up my closet a little bit instead of wearing like black all the time or light wash jeans. So they're in a size 25 or a zero, and they're short length because my waist. So around, uh, usually I wear a 25 waist or a 24 waist, depending on the rise. Like if it's high rise, then I might be able to fit in a 24, but if it's like mid or low rise, I go with the 25. But yeah, these are gonna be like my second mid rise jeans because everything else is either high rise or low rise. So yeah. Okay, so the next pair of shorts, we have these, again, medium wash, distressed shorts. Got them from 941. This pair isn't actually in a size 24 waist, so I hope I can fit this. This is in low rise too, so I'm kind of like scared, but like they didn't have enough or like they ran out of size 25s. So I was forced to get the 24 because I can't wear a 26. Like that's too big for me, but a 24 or 25 would work. By looking at it, I think I can fit it, but I kind of just ate a starbucks like wrap i ate a spinach feta wrap if you guys haven't tried it yet you, you guys should it's like a good brunch thing yeah we'll see how this turns out these are high rise light wash shorts so um i guess they're distressed because at the bottom it's like frayed this one is gonna be in a size 25 and these are high rise so um, actually, if the sizes for these two were flipped, I think that would be ideal, but that's okay. Okay, so it's a little hard to see, but these are the mid-rise jeans. They're actually pretty comfortable. I mean, they're not jean legging comfortable, but they do look nice. And I'm pairing it with my, oh my God, it's so hard to tell. 
I would just crouch or I'll just kneel down. <laughs> so I'm wearing this halter top from American Eagle and then underneath I'm wearing this Hollister lace bandeau. So it looks like it pairs pretty well, but um, even though it was a short, I still had to cuff the ends because it was just slightly long if it was cropped style, I think it would be perfect. I do like the rips though. Like I love the placement and everything. It looks just right on like some jeans where it's like random, it's kind of weird. Also, please let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see because I'm curious like um, if you guys just like hauls or you guys like other things too, like I don't know, cooking videos or like things like that, I don't know. Just comment down below. So earlier I was talking about how I was like killing two birds with one stone, so again, these 24 low rise shorts actually fit me just fine so i didn't have to like it it feels like a regular like it just feels like regular shorts that i would wear and honestly this is like pretty good like it looks good so i just wanted to add that on abercrombie's website or like the app this is literally what the model was wearing she was wearing like a white basic crew neck tee that was tied up like this and then these shorts so kind of like copied them and i mean it looks good and it works okay so again with the killing two birds with one stone thing this is the hollister cami and then these are the abercrombie shorts so um these are the high rise size 25 waist shorts and this is what the model was wearing too they're wearing a black like cropped cami with these shorts and like a brown belt but i don't have a brown like like flat belt so i'm wearing black instead which looks pretty good too because it matches my top this is how the, je the jeans the shorts look like um the cami doesn't look like this i just like folded inwards so um because this looks kind of ugly so yeah i mean with these with this cami i would tuck it in so it doesn't look as bad but i just ate so my stomach is kind of like bulging okay so as i um film myself trying clothes on i forgot to include this sweater from hollister it's a knot or like a twist front sweater so it's reversible i can wear it like this or like this but um it was in the clearance section but i had employee discount so i ended up buying this for like 20 dollars but on clearance, it was like $24.99, so I saved like $5, but um, yeah. And here's the outfit for the Forgotten Hollister sweater. So I basically paired it with whitewashed jean leggings with a belt to add some color to it. Um, so this, again, the sweater can be worn either in the front or like in the back. So I'd wear this, like this part in the back if I wear like a nice, design lacy bralette or like a crop top that has lace design in the back so it kind of like shows off that but yeah this is basically the outfit i wore this to work actually like this okay that's it for my haul today um hope you guys enjoyed it like the new style and stuff and i'm sure like i feel like this background is way better than the backgrounds before even though this one is still kind of ugly like it it doesn't if, it, if I had a plain white wall, I'd probably prefer that over this because it's not aesthetic or anything and I'm not a aesthetic person. I'm really too lazy to decorate and stuff. So yeah, sorry about that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more haul videos because um, Black Friday is coming up. So probably gonna vlog, maybe, I don't know, but I'm planning to do a lot of shopping on Black Friday, so make sure to subscribe and keep up for that. Also, I know I've been, been uploading recently, it's been like, I think this is my second week of not uploading, but I have a lot of videos planned and hopefully I go through with them. And sorry for ranting every outro, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next one, bye!